Step 1. I show Spook the muzzle, followed by treats that she enjoys a lot, such as cooked chicken and ham. It's important to produce treats at this stage of training that your dog enjoys a lot. Note the order in which I present the muzzle and the food. The muzzle is always shown to Spook first, followed by the food. This is important because we would like Spook to make an association with the muzzle that only once the muzzle appears does nice things happen. As well as food, you can use other activities your dog enjoys doing, like playing fetch, once you present the muzzle. Note how, once the muzzle disappears, Spook is ignored, she gets no praise or attention. Only once the muzzle appears, does nice things happen again. This step is really important, especially with dogs who have had previously negative experiences with a muzzle. Really spend time building a solid foundation at this stage. Here, you can see Spook's body language change as soon as the muzzle appears. Her tail starts wagging and her body becomes loose and relaxed. Once your dog is showing you signs that they know what the muzzle means, you can then move on to the next step. Now that Spook has learned that the muzzle is a predictor of good things, we don't want her to freak out when it is clipped around her neck. So we clip it on as you would with a normal collar, without placing her mouth in the muzzle piece, and play nice games. Here I throw food side to side, as she enjoys catching the food. I remove the muzzle before she becomes anxious or wary of it. It is important at this stage to do short and frequent training sessions. Three minute sessions are ideal. Once your dog is comfortable at all these stages, we can then move on to the next stage. What we will now do is put food into the muzzle and cup it in our hand so the food does not fall out the bottom. We will then allow Spook to eat out of the muzzle. When Spook is eating out the muzzle, we will gently move the muzzle away from her nose. This will ensure that she does not get in the habit of pulling her head out of a muzzle because we want her to learn to place her head into a muzzle, not pull away. At this stage, note that I do not push the muzzle into Spook's face. I allow Spook to put her own head into the muzzle. This is a very important step. Do not push the muzzle into your dog's face. Allow your dog to move forward into a muzzle. As you can see here, turning this into a little game makes it an enjoyable activity for Spook. I hold the muzzle a few steps away from her and allow her to run in and place her nose into the muzzle. Once your dog is totally comfortable at this stage, we can then move on to the next. Here we present the muzzle in a similar fashion to previously. Once Spook has placed the nose in the muzzle, we then use food to keep her nose there for a longer period of time. Good girl. You may have noticed here that I have changed the type of food I am using. Sometimes baby food or squeezy cheese is easier to feed through the muzzle. Good girl, very nice. Good girl. Again, notice how I remove the muzzle away from Spook's face before she removes her head out of the muzzle. It is important for her not to learn to move her head away from the muzzle. Once your dog is comfortably keeping his or her nose in the muzzle for a longer period of time, we can now start touching the neck straps behind the dog's head. It's important not to clip them on during the first few times. Just get the dog used to the feeling of your hands moving around their head, playing with the buckle 
while the muzzle piece is on their nose. I keep looking in front of the chairs. Oh, what's that? What's that scoop? With things like muzzle training, it's important that we allow the dog to control at which speed we progress. If we push the dog, then we may make the matter worse and teach them that the muzzle does not predict nice things and it is not a nice thing to have on. Once your dog is comfortable placing his or her head in the muzzle and keeping their nose in there for a longer period of time while you move the neck strap behind their head, you can then start to clip the neck strap on. At this time, keep the neck strap loose so that it does not make the muzzle too tight around the dog's head. Remove the muzzle before your dog becomes too distracted by it. Where's the muzzle? Good girl. Very clever. Very clever. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. You may find that cutting a small hole in the front of the muzzle will make it easier to feed treats through the muzzle. Also ensure that you have got the appropriate size muzzle for your dog. You may feel that providing your dog with a larger muzzle is kinder, however this is not true as it may cause discomfort when your dog is moving around. Once your dog is comfortable with this, adjust the neck strap so it's fit appropriately behind the dog's head. When doing this, do not fit the muzzle piece over the dog's nose. Once the muzzle is securely fit and your dog enjoys wearing it, you can then use it in situations in which you feel the muzzle is appropriate. However, I would recommend that you use the muzzle in other situations as well so your dog does not learn that the muzzle predicts a certain situation. A good time to use the muzzle is at dinner times. Feed part of the dog's dinner while the muzzle is on and ask the dog to engage in tricks and basic obedience. If you find that sometimes your dog is distracted by the muzzle or pays extra attention to it by trying to remove it, do not take the muzzle off. You do not want your dog to learn that they pull the muzzle and you do remove the muzzle. Distract your dog by asking your dog to do another activity such as sit or lie down and then feed the dog and get the dog doing something else. Once the dog is distracted, you can then remove the muzzle. If need be, backtrack a step so that your dog is quite comfortable at the level you are working at. Very nice. Good girl, Spook. Good girl. Excellent. Very clever. When you do ask your dog to do activities such as sit or lie down, ensure that you ask your dog to do ones that they enjoy. Do not make this an obedience task. This should be a fun thing that your dog enjoys doing. If need be, lure the dogs into position using treats placed on their nose outside the muzzle. Remember, you want to make it fun for your dog so your dog learns when the muzzle is on, nice things happen. It is also a good idea to move around with your dog once the muzzle is fitted so they get used to moving around in different areas with the muzzle on. Also ensure that you do not only use the muzzle when you feel it's appropriate. Place the muzzle on at different times of the day so your dog feels it's just part of a normal activity.